Hi there, my name is Angie Obwaka, and in our continuing series of Choosing Violence, today we are asking the question, are you a witch? Are you a wizard? Are you a Christian witch? Are you a Christian wizard? Um, at this point in time, you're like, isn't that an oxymoron? Like, can, can, can I be, hold your horses, I'm going somewhere with this, okay? So in our day and age today, um, I'm sure you've heard some of these time, terms. Somebody will ask you, what's your star sign? What's your zodiac sign? Um, people will tell you we're just doing our um, co contacting our ancestors. You know, we are tapping into the ancestors. We are channeling our ancestors. We are talking to the universe. We are seeing if the stars will align. We are uh, consulting Ouija boards. We are seeking, uh, what do you call them, um, um, palm readers, you know, or subscribing online to palm readers. Um, it could be the whole concept of affirmations that are outside the word of God. It's just, you know, drawing energy, love and light and good vibes and things like that. I'm sure at this point in time, you are feeling very triggered. It is not I, it is the spirit of God. Don't um, touch that dial. Today, I want to challenge and push back on some of that. The Bible says in Deuteronomy chapter 4, verse 19, the Lord is speaking um, to his um, people, the, the people of Israel, and he says, And beware, lest you raise your eyes to the heaven, and when you see the sun and the moon and the stars, all the host of heaven, you be drawn away and bow down to them and serve them. Things that the Lord your God has allotted to all the peoples under the whole heaven. In the Ten Commandments, the Lord starts by saying, you know, I am the Lord your God, you shall have no other gods before me. The reason I have pointed some of these out um, is that these things fall under the category of what we call divination. Divination um, is any different kind of techniques, whatever we call it, whatever we want to brand it, whatever is the in word or in term for the day, whatever we want to brand it, any way that we as human beings seek to get special knowledge about our lives, about life, about situations from any source other than God. That is divination. And that is, you know, we're talking about sorcery, we're talking about witchcraft, we're talking about all these other things that I have mentioned. You know, all of those things fall under divination. We're talking about fortune telling under divination, you know. And so um, this is my challenge to you today. The Bible is very explicit. We should not worship. You might be saying, I don't bow down before the stars. I don't go there and say, oh, yes, star of this and star of that. You might not be doing that. But the fact that you are according value, respect and um, sort of some sort of reverence to the fact that okay I was born between this time and this time or these certain months and therefore I am um, this particular um, star sign you know and because I'm this star sign this is how we usually behave because people will be like that um, as a Pisces um, we behave like this as a Scorpio we behave like this says who because the stars were aligned in a certain way when you were born because you were born in a certain month that is the worship of stars that is the worship of seasons and times things that put, God has put in place for us to be able to live we have now turned our focus to those to be able to tell us our personality to tell us what our likes and dislikes are when you read the newspaper usually I don't know if they still have the horoscope um, place which says um, if you're a Pisces this week you, this is what will happen to you or set your, um, prepare for this and the other where is that information coming from? The Bible says in Jeremiah 1, 5, God is saying to Jeremiah the prophet, before I formed you, I knew you and I appointed you to be um, uh, the prophet to the nations. Psalm 139 says in great detail, you know, the Bible says that God knew us before we were formed in our mother's womb and all the days that he had allotted for us and all the days of our lives, he knew God is supposed to be the exclusive source of information concerning who we are, concerning understanding the world, concerning our associations with people, concerning the difficulties of our personality, the challenges we have, etc. Only God, sovereign as he is, the creator of heaven and earth, the creator of the stars and the universe, the times and the seasons that we look to, to give us indications about ourselves and our lives. God is the only one who can tell us those things. And so, bad news. If you have been one of those who has been contacting the spirits, the dead, the ancestors, the stars, the seasons, for you to be able to understand your life, you might be bordering on the line of divination, of witchcraft, of sorcery, and allowing things that do not have the power, do not have the authority, should not have the mandate to dictate which way your life goes. Um, and, you know, that could be causing you a lot of problems because once you start believing things, we are, as a man thinketh, so he is. Um, so here's my encouragement to you, my challenge to you, so lovingly. Take all of that energy, you know, the good energy from up, up and above, and redirect that to the one alone who deserves um, our focus, our attention, and the one alone who can actually truly tell you, this is the plan that I have for you. 
to give your future and a hope. This is the direction. This is the way. Walk ye in it. Um, and nothing else and nobody else. God bless you. And let's, let's stay on the straight and narrow. It's so much easier, so much freeing, so much more freeing, and has so much more peace. God bless you.